This is a brand new box of Surging Sparks. And recently I opened 500 packs to find some of the most insane cards, including the Pikachu. And today, I'm gonna try not to pull it. Because today we're back with one of those painful challenges on the channel. Every time I get a hit from this beautiful brand new Surging Sparks booster box, I have to transfer one of my corresponding rare Pokemon for my Pokemon Go account. And if we pull the secret illustration rare Pikachu, which is currently trading for over $570 right now, I will transfer this. Grail, my favorite ever shiny costume Pikachu from my Pokemon Go account. I got this back in 2019. Honestly, if we transfer this, I'm throwing my tablet out the window. Let's hope that doesn't happen. And let's rip open the one and only, the knife is dull. Rip open the one and only Surging Sparks booster box. This is so exciting that we get to go in again. And this time it's for me because the last cards that we pulled we ended up auctioning off and giving away everything. But this box is my box. And inside, I hope there's absolutely nothing. Because again, this is one of those weird videos where I don't want to get a hit. Dang it! Okay, pros and cons. Pro, it's just a regular Pikachu EX, so nothing crazy. Con, I do have to transfer a Pikachu and I don't know if I've kept any random ones that I can just go off and transfer. Well, technically we can do this. Uh, I, oh my God, this is good though. These are solid. These are catch card. Ah, oh, but I have so many of them. Okay, we'll do this. My Pokemon Go people know how rare this is. This is a exclusive 2024 Pokemon World Championship Scuba Pikachu with the Hawaii location card background, which makes it insanely rare. And you know what? For this video and for Surging Sparks, I'll transfer this instead of trading it to one of my friends. Gah! Okay, that was oddly painful um, because the, I, get the, I cannot explain how, granted, I was just gonna trade that away anyway, so it's not like I was like gonna do anything with that. <sighs> Can you stop? I forgot, there's Latios and Latios in this set too, which are legendary Pokemon. And it's just a regular EX, so I don't have to transfer a shiny, uh, which is great. Do I have any, this is a 98, yikes. We will transfer this 2022 98 IV Regular Latias, at least it's not a shiny. First legendary of the day, the second pack in. <laughs> it's gonna be a painful day. We got an XL candy for that one though, so that's great. But um, yeah, Surging Sparks, this set is absolutely insane. Fun fact, I'm, uh, fun fact, I'm gonna jump out of a, I'm gonna, ah! fun fact, we have to transfer. You know what, it's just a regular execute though. I've got them, yes, they're spawning right now. Fantastic. Fun fact, this is the best performing Pokemon card set since Pokemon 151, which came out at the like beginning of this year. Basically every single Scarlet and Violet era set has absolutely flopped this year. Uh, some of them have come back around in the market and it's kind of been all over the place, but for the most part, uh, the popularity of Scarlet and Violet just hasn't really been there compared to Sword and Shield. But this set right here, Surging Sparks, has completely changed that. Booster boxes, for like the first time ever, are going for above MSRP on the market. It's nearly $170 to $200 for a sealed booster box of Surging Sparks right now, which is absolutely insane that a modern, like just came out box is going for that much money. That's great. We love to see that in the Pokemon card market that people are actually excited about a set and that this set is really, really good. We talked about it in the 500 pack opening video, but this set is composed of two, what do I do about this? This is an enriching energy. You know what, for the, for the culture, man, I'll transfer a random shiny because we got an A spec, which means we'll probably transfer another random shiny. I just caught this shiny Onyx today off my Go Plus. Get him out of here. I hate this shiny. So it's really it's really great to see the market and the community just responding so well to Surging Sparks. The two Japanese sets that it's composed of are really good and were very, very fun sets to open up. I think it was, it was a dragon set and it was a Pikachu set. I, I forget the Japanese names of the sets, but they were great. And a lot of the cards from those sets made it into Surging Sparks, which was why this set is so fun to open and why the market is going in absurd for this, because not only are the cards hard to pull, I did end up getting seven secret illustration rares out of 500 packs, which I think I just got lucky. I'm sure it's my Lodic. I'm sure it's like a one in 100 kind of thing, but the big ones, the Pikachu is really hard to pull. All right, my Lodic. Oh no. Don't be a hundo. Oh, this one's garbage. It's from 2018 though, dude. This is an OG. Oh, I don't think I can evolve any of these Feebas. This might be a, Oh, these videos suck because I end up just transferring like Pokemon Go history off of my account. This is a 2018 Milotic. I probably caught this when it first came out. 
Goodbye. I hate this video and challenge and series. I hope you like it. Please leave a like if you do. Actually, dude, crazy, crazy news. We're almost at 300,000 subscribers. I mean, can we stop? It's okay, I'm not selling this card. Flygon. Uh, oh, we've got, dude, we've got tons of Flygon. 2021, garbage IVs. Don't even know why I have this. Goodbye. Oh, it's an event Pokemon. Oh my God, it's got the top hat. Wow, that was close. 2020, 98, who cares? It's a Flygon. See you later. Almost 300,000 subs here on the channel, which is ridiculous to see the growth this year. It's been crazy. And speaking of this year, dude, 2024, nearly over. Speaking of my Lodic, we got a Phoebus. And what I just realized when I searched Phoebus, I don't have a non-shiny one, which means we're gonna have to take my most recent 2021 shiny Phoebus and transfer a sh <sighs> Dude, this one, the Phoebus shiny is so rare, so rare. That's an effing chat, that's a rip, that's a rip. Okay, this set, this set has really high hit rates, which is great for you opening it, and probably for you watching, but it's terrible for me, who has to transfer every time we get a hit on anything. <sighs> okay, historically, we transfer a shiny when I full pull a card that we can't do. So you know what? I also go plus today, two shinies in one day, this Rattata. Goodbye bye. Ah. All right, um, well, okay, this year's almost over and we've got some crazy news. Um, Terrestrial Festival is coming out, which is a brand new Eevee-centric set. Yes, dude, we're gonna have more Eevee evolutions come out, which is crazy, including on screen right now, the new Moonbrion, Durant. Oh God, time out. Uh, yep, I was afraid of that. Wait, what's stack rant? I don't really, oh, it's, I caught this out of my research stack. Who cares, get him out of here. Woo, almost transferred to Shiny. Terrestrial Festival, which I, I think that's the name of it, is a set that is all about Eevee and the Eevee evolutions. They're all gonna have uh, extremely cool SARs in there that are like awesome uh, alt arts, essentially, of the Eevee evolutions. Cannot wait, including a brand new Moon Brea. Now, so there's totally split. The market and the people seem to be, oh! Dang, dude, <laughs> no way, time out, wow. Not only did we get the Amulet of Hope, which is a transfer of a shiny, but we got the freaking Latios. Dude, this is the second biggest card in the set. It's not like $600 Pikachu big, but this card is like, this is like a hundred plus dollar card, bro. Oh, dude, this is golden. Oh my God, I can't believe we just hit, man. Surging Sparks is good. Bad for me though. Um, for starters, okay, we have to transfer a shiny for the Amulet, Amulet of Hope. And for that, I will do this Poliwag as tribute. Goodbye, sir. And for the Latias Secret Illustration Rare, let me get a penny sleep. The Latias SIR, I can't believe we just hit this bullet call. Uh, we gotta transfer a shiny Latias. I mean, that's, that's the only reasonable thing to do. So I'm fine doing that. I have a, 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 a gaggle of them. This is a shiny, the IVs are okay on it. I don't think I've evolved this. I have not. So we'll transfer this shiny Latias only because we got the SIR. And this is freaking, screw it, screw it, bye. That is amazing. I can't, here, we're gonna put him in the back here to bless us with the luck. Maybe we get another SIR, who knows? It's possible. Or we get the Latios uh, Art Rare, which is trading at like 50 plus dollars for that card, which is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, Terrestrial Festival is insane. I, I cannot wait for that set. A lot of people are kind of like, man, it's not that exciting. This is like a B grade Evolving Skies, who cares? Uh, so we're definitely getting that side of people. And it makes sense. There have been sets come out like, uh, I mean, Paldean Fates, which did not perform <laughs> really well in the market because it was like a reprint of a better set and the better set just did better. And the Charizard from the better set just did better. Um, so, you know, that happened. Uh, but a lot of people are also very excited about this set because we've never had a set that's fully around Eevee since Eevee Heroes, which is a Japanese set. And a booster box of Eevee Heroes nowadays is anywhere between 350 to 450, $500. Uh, obviously because of the Moonbrion and the other Eevee evolutions, but Eevee and the Eevee evolutions are some of the most popular things in the entire Pokemon franchise. <sighs> I don't know if I have a Palisand, dude. Oh good, I have Sandy Yast. Okay, well, here's the deal. Uh, we're gonna get Sandy Yast or Palisand in our Pokedex right now, um, and then I'm gonna transfer it. Uh, this is a full art EX, so technically we would transfer a shiny Palisand, but that hasn't been released yet in Pokemon Go. So a regular Palisand will have to do, but here's this. I'm pretty sure it goes into the Pokedex. Cool, our first one ever. What a celebration. And to celebrate, it dies. 
I personally am really excited for Terrestrial Festival. I think that a set all around the Eevees is gonna go crazy. I think people are gonna really enjoy it. I think the chases are gonna be super fun. The English version of the set's gonna be amazing. I cannot wait. It is going to be awesome, freaking, awesome, awesome, awesome. So that's going on and that's very cool. Oh my God, stop. All right, Alolan Executor here. We've got, oh, I've got a bunch of them. Uh, oh, it's from 2018 though. I traded it, who cares? 2018 Alolan Executor, goodbye long neck. So that set is gonna be great. Let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about the new Terrestrial Festival set and all the EV evolutions and if this is something that you think you'll be getting. I know that we will be going hard on it on this channel. I swear to God, if we get another hit, that requires another legendary transfer. Okay, Black Curum has not technically officially been released in Pokemon Go. It was released once on accident as a glitch and it was taken away from people's accounts, which was insane that that happened. So we're gonna transfer a regular legendary Curum, which is really rare and does not come around very often. How many legendaries will we transfer today? Ugh, I don't know but this hurts. Okay, uh, well, the next pack here of, dude, Surging Sparks. Bro, I don't think we've ever transferred more Pokemon in one video, and we still have like 10 packs left to go. This is crazy, but what a wild year for the Pokemon card community. Obviously, we had Pokemon 151, I think, released earlier this year, right? Japanese was last year, English was this year. I might be wrong. Um, I think I am wrong. Was Pokemon 151 last year, dude? Time's flying. Either way, we're ending the year off super strong with an, the amazing Surging Spark set. And again, Terrestrial Festival, uh, the Japanese set comes out the first week of December, which is super exciting. We'll definitely be doing a 500 pack opening for that set. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Speaking of this year, subscribers, again, almost 300,000 subs here on the Mystic Rips channel, which is absolutely ridiculous. So that's super fun. Bam, Skeledurge. And this set has been super fun to open. <laughs> Overall, the 500 pack opening was insane. I still can't believe that we ended up getting that Pikachu. That was ridiculous. Stunfisk, Stunfisk, my boy. Surely I have one of these laying around, right? Oh no, Stunfisk. Oh no, it's a holy shot. Oh, oh yes, I do have some. 1359, that's a hundo. That's not getting transferred. 924, 98, more like 90 goodbye. Bam. Anything to not have to transfer a shiny when I don't have to. Be completely unnecessary. Okay, Collarberry, Tauros, Flapple, Mousehold, Refive by Terrapagos. All right, we've got four more packs left of the amazing brand new Surging Sparks. Can we get anything crazy out of the back of the box? <laughs> Dude, I don't have more, man. Leave me alone. All right, we're gonna evolve another Sandy Guest and immediately after Born, murdered. Also, uh, I just checked the market, by the way. This card is selling for $200 ungraded. Dude, that's insane. $200 card. That is fantastic. Good for us today. Uh, that literally pays for the booster box. The booster box was like 180, which is nuts. Watchroll, Drillbur, Landorus. All right, my friends, last two packs. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what your experience with Surging Spark has been like over here in the Mystic Grips HQ. Overwhelmingly positive. Charcadet, Gouging Fire. And the last pack, we're gonna mwah, $200 Latias Kiss. It's an EV, EV, what? It's a Pikachu pack, which could not be more fitting. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, get us a 300K. And ladies and gentlemen, we get away for free at the end. That hurts. Thank you for watching and check out these other videos. They're even better.